I would like to express my condolences to the family and colleagues of the former Deputy First Minister of Northern Ireland, Martin McGuinness. Of course, we do not condone or justify the path he took in the earlier part of his life, and we should never forget that, nor the victims of terrorism. However, as my noble friend Lord Trimble set out yesterday, he played an indispensable role in bringing the Republican movement away from violence to peaceful and democratic means and to building a better Northern Ireland. Martin played an immeasurable role in bringing about peace in Northern Ireland, and it's that peace that we all want to see endure for all time for all people in Northern Ireland. Martin grew up in the poverty of the Bogside. He witnessed discrimination, inequality and repression. He didn't look away or run away from the challenges. With others in his generation, he decided to confront these injustices. The struggle for equality, respect and self-determination for the people of this island became his life's work. His leadership and the example he set will continue to inspire those of us who are determined to build a better future for all the generations to come. He never sought to airbrush the past, and neither did I. And of course, it's precisely because of his past, because of his involvement with the IRA in the 70s and 80s, because of his influence within those circles, that he was able to play the role he played in bringing the Republican movement towards using peaceful and democratic means. And because of all of that, I doubt we will ever see his like again. And Martin McGuinness did play a role which I will always condemn in the 70s and 80s, but I also have to acknowledge the role which he played over this last decade uh, and more in government in Northern Ireland.